Hello everyone, how are you doing my dear students? I hope you all are keeping great. So, as you all know, from past few years, the cutoff of NEET exam is increasing. So, if you want to get into your dream college, that is if you want good ranks, you have to score very well in NEET 2024. Yes, you have to start, you have to target 680 plus in NEET exam. So that's why I'm your Vindhya ma'am. Today I'm go going to explain you, I'm going to give you certain study tips. That is how to score 680 plus in NEET 2024. So let's get started without wasting any time. So the very important tip for all of you, um, especially for the subjects like biology and chemistry, I'm going to give you a very important tip that is you have to revise biology, NCRT 11th and 12th and chemistry for more than 10 to 20 times. When it comes to physics, yeah, you can have a reference book or maybe like a DC Pandey or something like that. Or you can have a coaching institute, physics wala coaching institute study material. Or maybe you can also have some teacher's notes so that you have to revise multiple times. But for biology and chemistry, you have to revise NCRT 11th and 12th more than 10 to 20 times, which actually makes a lot of difference in the ranks and score. One who have revised for 20 times and one who knows NCRT lines line by line, he would be able to get more score compared to one who have done less revision. And the second important tip for all of you, Students, if you would have seen past few years neat question paper, the questions are lengthy. So one who knows to read question quickly and answer quickly, he or she will be able to, you know, complete the question paper and would be able to score more compared to the one who is little slow reader, even though they know the good, they have a good knowledge of the subject. So it's very important to increase the speed of reading questions. The speed and accuracy should be high when it comes to reading question. So how it can be fulfilled? By practicing a lot of PYQs, previous year questions, which is actually lengthy, lengthy questions you have to solve more, right? Or maybe uh, similar practice questions, you have to solve as many questions as possible, maybe some uh, 50 questions in a day you are supposed to solve. And the third important tip for the students who love biology hosts, favorite subject is biology. Students, you shouldn't be ignoring biology even if you're well versed in biology. So what happens is you would be good in biology and if you think you're good, usually you tend to revise less because you feel, huh, I know very well, I remember, I, I rem remember very well. But when it comes to NEET preparation, when it is just three months remaining, three, four months remaining for NEET exam, if you don't study or revise biology very well, some of the chapters like Animal Kingdom, Plant Kingdom and similar chapters would be having a lot of examples, a lot of forgetting things like you can find in these chapters, right? So you tend to forget and you tend to score less in biology where you might be getting good score in physics and chemistry because you would be giving more importance to physics and chemistry. But there would be a lot of difference with the ranks. One who have scored good in biology, they would be getting more rank compared to the one who have scored not as much good in biology, but in other subjects they would have scored good. So if two students got 600, if this person's score in biology is more, they would be getting good rank compared to the student who scored less in biology. So this is the problem when it comes to um, you know giving importance to the subject so you have to give more importance to biology but it doesn't mean you have to study biology all the time you have to literally distribute your time to study you have to distribute to all these three subjects pcb okay so don't ignore biology even if you're well versed in biology give importance to all the three subjects and if you want to crack NEET exam with 680 plus, if you want to score very well, if you want to get your dream rank score college, you have to have the study, uh, you know, habit of studying 
for five to six hours, excluding your coaching classes, excluding your uh, record book completion and all these things. You have to study for five to six hours every day from day one of your 11th to 12th standard. So by this, you will get good score in um, NEET exam also. Um, you know, you will prevent yourself from taking a drop, right? So it's a must, by the way. And the next and the last important thing is um, you would be taking a lot of, I'm very sure, uh, a reference book, even for biology or any subject. So usually in the reference book, after every concept, they would be giving some questions. So solve questions after studying every concept. So by this, your concept would be clear. It would be also like, you know, you would be also solving a lot of questions by doing this. So by solving questions after studying, you will be also able to understand the concept better. Okay. So either you can have a reference book, which will have questions after every concept. If not, after studying few concepts, just go to any search engine like a Chrome internet or something. And just type like, for example, if I just take the uh, particular chapter like body fluids and circulation, just type uh, questions on body fluids and circulation, if you would have studied some concept of this chapter. So while, while you get questions on this chapter, just solve the questions that you have studied, not the one that you haven't. Okay. So then you can make out like you, you would you would be having all the questions in that part, a particular website or maybe where whatever you're searching on. So but solve just the questions that is, uh, you know, that the one that you have completed the concept. So which is very important. So by this, you will be getting a lot of questions to solve. You will be able to remember. You would be also understanding better because of solving questions after studying a concept, right? So that's all for today. I hope the tips that I have given to score 680 plus in NEET 2024, I, I guess it would be helpful. So that's all for today. Let's meet in the coming video. Until then, bye.